Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Diamond K Show Livecast, our brand new home here, UStreamRadio.com, the Ustream Radio Studios. Okay, every weeknight, 6:30 p.m., brand new episode of the Livecast is available, UStreamRadio.com, and I'm right here bringing you the entertainment news, gossip, interviews, opinion, and much, much more. As always, send your music info at the show.com uh, if you want to chime in on our topics uh, you can always hit me up the number here 310-982-4210 uh, tickets are still available for the hair and music expo which goes down this Saturday this Saturday if you're in Baltimore at Club Dubai from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, for all my people in Baltimore tickets available USA Boutique New Directions Barbershop, also the Beat School of Makeup Artistry. All right, now, what? Okay, I didn't give the address. All right, so they're saying I need to give you the address to uh, USA Boutique in Mondawmin Mall. Everybody knows where that is in Baltimore. New Directions Barbershop in Town Plaza. All right, and the Beat School of Makeup Artistry. 2429 St. Paul Street, all right, by phone 443-604-9153 or online hairandmusic.com, also missiontix.com. Now, uh, let's dive right into things, Um, and I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Trayvon Martin's parents are angry after his background information leaks. Now, uh, it's it's it was just going to be a matter of time before uh, they started digging some things up. Uh, Trayvon Martin's parents lashed out at reports that he had been suspended from school because of drugs, graffiti, suspected burglary. Okay, uh, accusing cops of their smear campaign uh, to boost up his killer Zimmerman, uh, who is currently in hiding. Um, uh, this is th- this is not a surprise to me. I expected something like this, and I hope that the family was prepared for this. Uh, the police leaked Zimmerman's version of the February 26 shooting uh, in Sanford, Florida. Zimmerman said uh, he fired only after the 17-year-old uh, punched him uh, and and knocked him out with a single punch, uh, and repeatedly smashed his head onto the ground and tried to grab his gun. Uh, Officials told ABC News that Trayvon, uh, who has no criminal record, uh, received a 10-day suspension from Crop High School in Miami uh, for having an empty marijuana baggie. All right. How many of you have had that? How many of you have had that happen? All right. Authorities also told the Miami Herald that he was suspended in October when he wrote WTF on a locker. Uh, and a knapsack was found uh, to contain items of women's jewelry and a screwdriver, which was deemed as a possible burglary tool. Okay. Now, Trayvon's grieving parents said any high school scraps uh, had no bearing on Trayvon being shot to death while carrying only a bag of Skittles and an iced tea. And I agree with that. I mean, if you're going to go into background, let's talk about Zimmerman's background. Zimmerman has a criminal record. And, uh, and we'll get into that in a minute. But um, we take pride in our kids, and it tears me apart to sit here and listen to the slander that they're giving my son. Uh, his father said, even in death, they're still disrespecting my son. Um, he continued to go on and say, uh, before an evening rally of 10,000 people, uh, the parents, along with civil rights leaders and elected officials, presented uh, a packed meeting at the Sanford City Commission uh, with two million signatures on a petition demanding Zimmerman's arrest. Two million signatures. Um, and and uh, the city, which appointed a new black police chief on Monday, uh, has insisted that Zimmerman could not be arrested because he claimed self-defense. Now, the thing that's confusing to me is that he claims self-defense. So what? What does that mean? So anybody can go and murder someone in the state of Florida, but if you claim self-defense, oh, then it's all good. Then no problem. Um, You have voted no confidence in the police chief. How can you have confidence then on the lack of police action 
Reverend Al Sharpton asked the commissioners. Okay, America's on trial today, said the Reverend Jesse Jackson. The whole world is watching Sanford today. A month after the shooting, police leaked the new version of the events. And, and what's funny about this is, is this is similar to what I thought. Um, they got into a fight, but only because Trayvon felt like he was in danger. That's the only reason that this fight happened. Trayvon felt like he was in danger, my opinion. Um, but uh, the the thing about it is is that uh, Trayvon's father. Here, here's where 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 things get sketchy. Now Zimmerman, um, a self-styled neighborhood watchman. Now this is self-appointed, self-appointed. He's not even a real. Uh, uh, neighborhood watchman okay this is this is some he's he's i don't know but uh he spotted trayvon leaving his father's fiance's house uh in an orlando gated area around 7 p.m okay that means he's just sitting around being nosy looking for trouble zimmerman i mean okay the 17 year old was wearing a hoodie in the drizzle and talking to his 16 year old girlfriend on the phone 